Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on the Limited package is its panoramic glass roof, its parking sensors as well as its power lift gate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Highlander Limited. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the limited package. One of them being is your newly redesigned front end with your new uh, front grille. You also have your LED headlights, fog lamps, and if we just take a look at your front grille, you're going to see your front facing backup camera for your 360 degree backup camera as well as your plug-in block heater just located down below. And then you also have your front parking sensors. You have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels over on the side. You have your integrated signal lamps as well as your additional camera just located on both sets of your mirrors. And then you also have your vortex generators. And then located on the inside of your driver's side door, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it's actually going to alert you when a vehicle is right beside you as it'll just light up for you. Now, one of the things I like with the new uh, Limited is that it has the smart key system. So with the smart key system, you can actually lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on these two little lines you see on the handle. You just press on it once, it'll lock all the doors for you automatically. And then if you actually want to open up the front door for yourself, all you have to do is just put your hand between the handle and unlock for you. Now this is all accomplished just as long as you do keep your uh, key fob on you at all times. You also get a roof rack included with the limited package. And the color we're taking a look at today is chest or toasted walnut pearl, sorry. And to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your brown leather interior seat surfaces as well as your power driver seat with lumbar support. And if we just take a look over on your left hand side, you're going to see your automatic high beams as well as your power lift gate opener. You have your window wiper deicer, heated steering wheel and parking sensors. And then later on in the video, I'll actually get into what these two buttons are for as well. Now located on the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls as well as your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume controls as well as your scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and your cruise control. Now one of the things I like with uh, this front dash is that you have this nice multi-informational display. The other thing too is that you have a nice push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now one of the things with uh, the multi-informational display is you have many different options located on here. You have an eco indicator as well as an all-wheel drive indicator and a sway warning control. But then you can also go through your navigation, your audio as well as your lane departure alert and your cruise control and then your auto stop and start, your messages, and then you can readjust your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring, and then readjust your personal settings through here as well. Now getting back to that auto stop and start, this is actually working in conjunction with your automatic climb control. The other thing is it can be shut off too, but uh, for this example, I'm just gonna show you just with um, your automatic climb control actually turned on. So when your automatic climate control is actually turned on, it's going to readjust the temperature just uh, to make sure that temperature stays nice and um, pleasant while you're inside of the cabin. Now, when you have it actually turned on and you're actually driving down the road and you come up to uh, a set of lights, this will actually shut off your automatic climate control just so that your engine is running at peak efficiency and that you're also saving on um, your fuel as well. So that's what your auto stop and start is for, just working in conjunction with your automatic climate control. So anytime you come up to a light or you're stopping for any instance, it's actually just um, shutting off the climate control just so that it's making sure that your engine is running at peak efficiency. Now, if we actually just take a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're gonna see your digital clock just located at the very top here. And then if we head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You also have your front, rear and mirror defroster with your dual zone climate control and your rear temperature control settings. You also have your hazard lights and then located just underneath, you're going to see your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet, traction control on and off, your snow mode, downhill assist control and your all wheel drive lock. And for 2017, they've matted it to an 8-speed automatic transmission. You also have your heated and cooled seat controls for your driver and passenger. At the top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And then you also have your open and close for your power uh, 
panoramic glass roof, I should say. And then this is to open and close the shade. Integrated uh, garage door opener, and then you have your sunglass case holder, and then you have an additional mirror just located up here just so you can see what the kids are doing in the back. And then with that other button, I'm just going to actually throw it into reverse just so I can give you an idea what your 360 degree backup camera looks like. You have guiding lines for yourself in that uh, yellow color there that's actually going to show you where you're going to end up just while you're turning the steering wheel. And then if you actually just take a look, you can actually readjust the lines just on this side here. And then if you wanted more of a dynamic view, you can actually switch between the different uh, camera views. And then if you wanted to close in on that one corner, you can actually just push on the screen and push at the exact area you're looking at just so you can see what the obstruction is. And then press it again and it'll take it out. And then if we actually put it into drive, I'm actually going to show you what the other button is for so when you press it, it's actually going to give you a front-facing view of the camera. So in the event that you're parking into a tight parking stall or a parkade, you can actually just see how much room is actually in front of you there, just to make things easier for yourself. Now, however, if you did want to actually set it up on auto, you do have the option of doing so. The other thing is it's not going to be on all the time while you're driving. The only time it will actually stay on is when you're under 10 kilometers an hour. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across it. Now just on your left hand side, you're going to see your backup camera. And then underneath your Toyota emblem, you're going to find your rear hatch release. All you have to do is push on it once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so they have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now, in the event that you do need the additional cargo space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split third row. So all you have to do to actually fold it down is just pull on this piece here. It will fold itself down in the floor for you. And then, depending on what your needs are for, if you do need two additional passengers, you can have the 60 side up. Or if you just need one additional passenger in the third row, you can have that one side up to actually fold it back up. All you have to do is just pull on this piece here fold itself straight up for you. Now the other great thing about this third row as well is that you can actually tilt the seats back just so that you have a little bit more comfort. And then the headrests are just located right here just uh, underneath so you just have to pull them up. And then if we actually just take a look underneath here you're gonna find some under the floor storage just so that you can hide away some of your valuables. You're also gonna find your jack and your toolkit here just so you can access your spare tire that's just located underneath the vehicle. And then just over on the side here, you're going to find some additional storage space just so you can hide away more valuables. So it's a little bit deeper there, so it's a little bit darker that you can't really see it. But if uh, you do need to hide away some valuables, you definitely have a couple of different options available for you. Now, if you do need to readjust the height for the power lift gate, all you have to do is push on this button. Just hold down on it for approximately two seconds at the height that's desired. Then when you close it and open again, it'll open up to this height for you. Now, a couple of the uses for that uh, power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if you have a lower end garage, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from uh, being damaged. The other thing is if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason, just hold down on that button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. The other great thing is that you can actually open up this rear hatch class as well. So just with your key fob with you, just push on this button, it'll actually pop open. And then if you just need to throw a couple of things back here, you can do so just by pushing on that button. Now, again, just as long as you do have your key fob on you at all times, you're going to be able to use that smart key system. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.